No one ever said that being a private dick was easy, but being a dick's what Detective Geriatrics does best. I'm a huge dick, an absolutely massive dick, as big a dick as they come, and boy do they come big. Jerry, you have a client waiting on time. God damn it, are you reading my fucking dicks again? What? No. Maybe. Jerry, you fucking pissed me off so goddamn My secretary, Miss Anya Knees, like could have been a bigger dick than me if she set her mind to it. Somehow, she always manages to know exactly what I'm thinking about. Maybe it's because I'm usually thinking about the word dick. Any part of being here, I swear to fucking God I'm gonna quit one Ms. goddamn Anya day. Miss Anya you're a cold, vicious bitch. Send the client in. Well, well, well. If it isn't Miss Maxine Patricia Coven. Come on, Jerry, skip the formalities. You know better than anyone how I feel about my name. Maxine Patricia Guffin, AKA Maxi Pat. We had a one night stand about two years ago. I filmed the entire thing and took several pictures throughout in an attempt to improve my form. After all, a good dick's gotta be detail oriented. Didn't tell her about them until after we finished. Maybe that's why we didn't have sex again. Very well, Maxie Pat. What brings you to my office tonight? Well, I'm in a bit of a pickle and I was hoping that you could help me. Yeah, no shit, that's my job. What are the specifics? What do you need my help for? It's my brother, Mac. He's been murdered. Jesus Christ, Mac. He and I have been friends for years. Is that why I haven't heard from him in days? I thought he was just really hung over. What exactly happened? Why was he murdered? Two nights before his death, he invited me over to his place to have dinner. He recently found work as an archaeologist, and he was talking about this mysterious thing that he found on a site last week. And a couple of bad mamma jammas didn't want him to have it? That's awfully convenient exposition. I, I'm sorry, bad mamma jammas? What decade are you in? Oh my god, I came here to tell you how my brother was murdered. I'm not gonna lesson on modern slang. Anyway. They found this at the scene of the crime. My life is awful. I can't bear living anymore. This is a suicide note. I thought you said your brother was murdered. The police said it was a suicide, but we both know that my brother would never do that to himself. And I have proof. This is just a list titled My Favorite Kinds of Porn by Matt. God, there's a lot of varieties of hentai on here. I know, but look at the handwriting. It doesn't match the handwriting of the suicide note. Oh my God, you're right. I'm positive that those Batman pajamas killed him so that they could have whatever it is he found. Whatever it is, if they're willing to kill a man to get it, it must be valuable. Matt Guffin's mysterious and valuable object is what we're looking for. Well, it's not like there's any shorter way of saying it. Mr. Mike Rochburns had always been a valuable informant. He's got a burning itch to get the scoop on everyone in town, and that's an itch that ointment could never fix. Did you get the message I left? No, sure, sure, bro. That's why I'm here. No. I can tell you everything you need to know about Mac, but first you need to pray it up. Yeah, this come handy for my next D&D session. Fucking nerd. Now tell me what I need to know. Mag was last seen walking down 4th Street late at night. He was holding some sort of cardboard boards, and there was a guy following him with a needy hat and a Halloween mask. He was seen coming to his apartment, and 30 minutes later, this guy right here was seen coming out of the apartment uh, and that was the last time Mike was alive. Interesting. What would someone with such horrible fashion sense want to do with Matt Guffin's mysterious treasure? I can't tell you that. I can only tell you what I know. Mike, you're a great informant. Even if you're never gonna get laid. I've already accepted that. It wasn't easy, but after a long and wild goose chase, I believe I managed to track down our fashion blind friend.
I ended up being told about a rundown apartment complex where a masked figure in red liked to hang out. I figured that had to be the perp. Damn. Those numbers were almost funny. So, we finally meet. Oh, we've met before, Dick. It was Miss Maxie Pat all along, huh? Thought it was pretty obvious at this point. So why'd you do it? Why'd you kill your own brother over some stupid, mysterious treasure? There was never any treasure. Mac isn't even an archaeologist. The picture that you saw of me trailing behind him, the box that he was clutching, that wasn't treasure. Those were his groceries. After I found out about those pictures and videos you took of me, I was going insane thinking about all the things you could have done with him. I know how close you were with Mac. I know you showed them to him. He was going to hold them against me for the rest of my life. I was ruined. I had no choice but to kill him. I am sure there were other choices. I knew that if I just left him dead, your poor dear friend Mac, you'd find out and you'd trace it right back to me and I'd be ruined. That's why I made up everything about the treasure and I staged his murder as a suicide. I even used my non-dominant hand to forge the suicide note just to make it all believable. All just to lure you here to get rid of you too. Wait, so Mac's not an archeologist? Jesus fucking Christ, man. All the convoluted bullshit I pull off and that's what you don't believe? Nope. I believed it all along. Just need to buy time. Son of a bitch, how did the cops know? How did the cops know? What kind of stupid fucking question is that? Did you really think I would show up to a meeting with a murderer without backup? It doesn't matter. I'm still gonna blow you. Sky high. Not so fast. I figured you'd be the type to lace the place of bombs, so I sniffed every wire I found. How did you know to bring those? Never leave home without. That's a weird thing to never leave home without. And so, the mysterious murder of Mac Guffman is closed for good. Maxie will be locked up for a long time, thank goodness. And more importantly, I have a long list to go through. Anya, cancel all my appointments. Have you seen my lotion? It is going to be one hell of a night.